This is a, a video about CB Thank You Page Protector, which is a script for ClickBank vendors. What it does is it protects your thank you pages and downloads from pirates. So people who are not authorized can't um, access your products, can't download them without permission, and can't share the links to either your thank you pages or to the products themselves. What it also does is it allows you to customize your thank you page and an automatic email sent to your customers. Um, and uh, it can, those emails can be say whatever you want and they can also include, include customer specific information like the order number, um, the customer name and so forth, the time of the order and um, that can be used to help you build a relationship with your customers uh, to make sure that they remember what they ordered, when they ordered it, how it will show on their receipt number um, which uh, can help remind them uh, what they bought which will help you reduce chargebacks and refunds and also, of course, in those emails, you could mention your other products and services, and um, that would help you uh, make more sales and uh, get on good terms with your customers. And um, it's basically very easy to install a script that you run on your website. Before you install the script, what you need to do is set up an email mailbox on your website. Um, that can be any address you like, but typically you might use something like orders at your site.com or your name at your site.com. Uh, or even, uh, so for example, if your name is John Smith, you'd say John Smith at, and suppose your website was Guide to Smoking, Quit Smoking, it'd be John Smith at Guide to Quit Smoking .com. But you can choose any email address you like. Um, the only thing is the automated emails are sent from your that address, and some web hosts require that is a valid email address, so it's a good idea to set it up like that. Also, some customers may reply to these automated emails, so it's a good idea if you choose an email address which... Uh, you actually read any incoming email sent to. So set up a mailbox with that address. Uh, then what you do is you just um, unpack the script which is provided to you in a zip file and upload all the files to your website um, and then you uh, access the administration page of the script and follow the instructions and you'll be up and running in no time. And in this video I'll show you how to install CB Thank You Page Protector. So I've set up my email um, uh, mailbox using my web uh, hosts control panel. I've unpacked the zip file, uploaded it, and I'm now ready to access the administration screen. So I've got my web browser here, uh, and I type in the uh, address where I've uploaded the um, software, which in this case is Wild Computer uh, in the demo directory. And I'll click that. Now the first thing it asks me is to choose a administration password. So I'm, I'm going to uh, type in a password of my choice. Choose one that's easy to remember. I'm getting finger trouble there. Let me get that right. Okay. Click OK. Uh, my web browser has a feature for helping me remember passwords, which I'll, I'll ignore that for now. Second thing, it asks me the directory where I've installed it, the URL. It usually will guess this automatically, but if not, you can just copy it out of your web browser here. So it has guessed it correctly, and I've done that. Uh, now it's asking me for the name of the email uh, address that I've set up, which in my case is orders at wildcomputer.com. Uh, now it's asking me for my ClickBank nickname or username, which I, I've got several ClickBank accounts. I'm going to use wildcom3, which is one of my ClickBank accounts. Uh, now it asked me for a ClickBank. Uh, Secret key. This is a sequence of letters and numbers that's used for encryption purposes inside QuickBank. It's like a, a password, so you usually pick something that people can't guess. Uh, it has to be exactly 16 letters or digits long. You can put letters and numbers. So uh, usually you choose somebody that people can't guess, but for my demonstration I'm going to choose A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, K, P. 16 letters. And if I try and type more, it won't let me type in, so the software helps me type in what's needed. Uh, and now it's set the secret key. Now it tells me that I need to log into my ClickBank account and set the secret key. So it provides me instructions of what I have to do inside ClickBank. So it's log into ClickBank account, enter your username and password, click on settings, go to my site, go to edit next to advanced tools, enter the secret key A, B, C, D, what so on, then do save changes. And when you've done that, uh, click OK on the screen. So normally you print out the screen, maybe open another web browser, go off and do that. When you're done, done, come back and click OK here. So I've done that. I'm now ready to log in to um, CB Thank You Page Protector. So uh, I'm going to enter my password, which 
which I chose earlier. I've done that again, it's asking if I want to remember the password. Uh, and it shows me my settings here. So the URL I've installed it, the version of the software, the email address, my ClickBank username, secret key. Um, and I could change any of those, but I'm happy with them. The important part here is uh, protected download links and protected products. Protected download links are the actual files that you, know, you want your customers to download. So they're the zip files, PDF files, MP3s, EXE files, whatever it is that you're providing to customer when they pay you uh, through ClickBank. Uh, now the idea here is on most web hosts you can um, put your zip files and EXE files in a directory uh, that can't be accessed from uh, through a web browser. Uh, now normally that's only for your own private storage but using um, CB Thank You uh, Protector uh, what will happen is um, the um, uh, those files can be uh, accessed through your thank you pages but no other way and that's using this protected download link. It's like a magic link that only works inside thank you pages and allows people to download your uh, product files. So. Um, what I'll do is I click Add Protected Download Link, um, and it asks me where do I want to search for secretable files. Uh, now you can see here most websites have a directory like public HTML or www or docs. Well, that folder and any subfolders of that contain files that are accessible via the web. Um, and you could put your zip files and so forth in that directory, but it means people might be able to, if they guess the URL, they'd be able to download it. So what I've done is I've created another directory on my server uh, at the same level as public HTML uh, so, which um, contains all the zip files that I want to download, all my product files and if I do a search for it, do I want to look at, I can so I edit that public HTML and I can choose here the type of file that I want to look for, I want to look for zip files, I click OK and it will search and it says aha in this directory secure there's a file ebookcompiler.zip if, if there's more than one zip file give me a choice of them so I can set up a secure download link to that file that can only be accessed through a thank you page. Now I'll choose a um, ID to identify this link, so I'm going to call this ebook. I can choose any letter and digit combination that I like. And here uh, you'll see I've set up my protected download link and it says percent download brackets ebook percent. So that's a special code that I'm going to put on my thank you page that will allow customers to download that product but only through the thank you page and there's no other way to access that file except through the thank you page. So I'm going to copy that to the clipboard so I can use it in a minute yeah, when I'm setting up my thank you page. Now, now I need to set up my, my products so the first, uh, so I need to set up a thank you page for each product just like you, you normally do in ClickBank but I do it through the Caesar interface here. So I say add product, uh, I choose an item the same as the product IDs in ClickBank um, and, uh, Normally people use numbers in ClickBank, but you can use letters and numbers. So I'm going to call this one product number one, just for example. Enter description of the product. So ebook creation and compiling software. OK. And I click OK. Now it shows me here what the code for the uh, payment link that I could put in my pitch page. A pitch page is a sales letter that describes product to the customer. That's a normal quick bank payment link. It's just showing me that for um, to help me uh, remember. Uh, I could ignore that if the pitch page already exists. That's fine as well. Um, so when I'm ready, I click OK, and it tells me now how to add the product to ClickBank, the thank you page to ClickBank. So it's log into your ClickBank account, put in your uh, password and username, um, go to the settings tab, click My Products, click Add Product here. And it tells you how to fill in these fields here. Enter one for the item number, enter the URL of the pitch page, and enter this special line here as the thank you page uh, URL. So I, I could copy that to the clipboard. I could highlight it like that with a mouse and copy it and go into ClickBank and paste it. Or I could print out this page for reference, open ClickBank in another browser, and off I'd go. So I've already done that. When I'm done, I'll do save changes and log out of my ClickBank account. And that would set up the thank you page. Now the contents of the thank you page, obviously that needs to tell the information to the customer about they've bought the product, um, thank you very much for buying it, here's your download link and so forth. Now with CB Thank You Protector, one of the nice things about it is you can make anything you like on your thank you page using your normal HTML coding. It gives you a default thank you page, which I can show you here. Um, 
And if you look, it's got here uh, Joe Public as a customer's name, the receipt number in there. Um, and um, the way that works is to put those in, you put in these special codes. For example, percent CB percent C name is a ClickBank customer name, or percent CB receipt percent is a ClickBank receipt. So if you look in the HTML code here, it says your receipt number is bold percent receipt percent bold. So it would what happens is that gets replaced when the customer views the thank you page with the customer's receipt number. And if you look at the demo preview, you'll see it's inserted it here. So um, also in the standard thank you page that it gives you, which again, as I say, you can redesign completely if you want to, uh, it says enter your product specific instructions here. So remember I created that protected download link, I'm going to put it in there. So you see percent download brackets ebook percent so that's a protected download link to that zip file and if I do save when it updates the page you'll see here it has that um, to download this product please do this click here to download ebook compiler to you dot zip yeah and that link will only work inside a thank you page and that thank you page is only accessible to your clickback customers it uses IP addresses it uses a time limit um, and it uses the ClickBank secret key information to make sure that only legitimate customers can download uh, uh, your products. So when I'm happy with that, I just click save and exit. And that's it, I've set up my thank you page. You'll also see here, um, it can set up a thank you email to the customer. If I click up, I've got it enabled. I could turn that off by just dis disable it. When I do edit email, you can see the text of the email here. Um, so in here, what address do I send it to? Uh, I send it to the ClickBank CBC email percent. If you look on the right hand side, that's the customer's email address. It says it here somewhere. CBC email customer's ClickBank. ClickBank customer email sends it from the email, percent vendor email, which is the, the email address that I set up. Um, thank you for purchasing the subject line. I can change that. And it would say, Dear, puts in the customer's name, the product description, the receipt number. Thank you for purchasing. We hope you enjoy this purchase and find it useful. If you have difficulty, please contact me. And I can put in other information as well, like the time they purchased or whatever. I can put in information about my other product. Just add in the text that I want. And when I'm happy with the text, I just click save or save and exit. And I've set up that special email to the customer thanking for the purchase. Of course, that email can be different for each one of your products. Uh, another cool feature as well is you can also set up a notification email. It's turned off by default. If I click add email, I can set up the software to send an email notification to me or to my customer service people or um, even to um, software like an autoresponder or a customer service system uh, to add that customer into a database or something like that. And again, I can customize the format of the email. You see here in this particular standard one, I've got all the information about the customer, what item they bought, description, which affiliate referred it, date and time of the purchase. Um, the receipt number, the customer's name, all that stuff, and even the customer's IP address is in the email that, we, that it sends me that to when the customer purchases. So you can set up those notification emails, and if you're happy with it, please save. And that's basically it. Um, one other thing that happens is if a customer, oh sorry, I should have clicked save and exit there rather than just save, um, is um, I can obviously change my admin password. The other thing that you can do is if a customer um, tries to access your for a person tries to access your page, your thank you page is not allowed to, they are taken to a blocked page and you can customize the text of it. So if you look here, uh, this is the page that's shown, and again you can see all the HTML. And if you see here it says percent block, percent reason, so that gives the reason why a customer is blocked. So for example, it says sorry, uh, but your access page has been blocked because, and in this case it's because it's a preview of a blocked page, it could say because your IP address has been access the page too many times or you are not, a, you haven't got a valid receipt number or something like that. Um, so you can change that and of course you can add more products um, and so forth. So it's a very very easy system for protecting your thank you pages, uh, communicating with your customers, cutting refunds and chargebacks and helping you sell more to your customers by communicating with them through email. So thank you very much. If you go to marketingrocket.com you can find out more about the software and also on that website is the whole ClickBank vendor toolkit which is a whole set of tools that can help ClickBank vendors sell more, get more affiliates, work better with affiliates, make better pitch pages with attractive graphics and all sorts of things. So marketingrocket.com, go to the website, check it out. Thank you very much.